going on? Cyrus here and welcome to another Unbox Impressions. In this video, I'll be reviewing the Ultra Instinct Sun Goku figure box. This is a packaging by BWFC, which stands for Banpresto World Figure Coliseum. Whether you're a fan of the TV series or read the manga, there's no denying Dragon Ball Z's place in cultural history. The latest Dragon Ball Super series has introduced a new element into the Dragon Ball world with gods and incredibly higher powers. If you've caught up with the Dragon Ball Super manga, how crazy is it right now? Let me know in the comments below what you think. Anyways, if you're new to my channel, I review boxes based on five category elements that I believe are essential to the overall box experience. These five categories are design, materials, box to product ratio, organization, and box factor. So let's get to it. First up is design. Nothing says confidence more than being able to put an actual high detail image of your product on the box itself. You can see that they've literally taken an image of this Goku figure and pasted it onto the box design. The figure alone adds a level of color, texture, and detail that you would get by seeing the product in person, and all of which are elements that anyone looking to buy this purchase is looking for. So really creative choice on their part. And of course this figure only has one pose, so they had to be a little bit creative and take photos of it from different angles. So we have three separate angles, one from the front, one from below, and one a little bit from above. We've got minimal text on the box, basically saying that this is the Ultra Instinct Sun Goku figure. So overall the box design is pretty solid. However, I would have enjoyed maybe a more dynamic image where the figure is in more of kind of like a setting um, to kind of show how it would look like on display. I'm going to give this a score of 7 out of 10 for design. Now for materials. If there was one word for materials I'd use to describe this box, it would be basic. The outer box is made from a carton box style, kind of similar to a cereal box. Um, it's thin, it's lightweight, and you know, honestly, it's, it's kind of flimsy. Uh, ends are glued together on the bottom so that the product doesn't fall out. And the top is secured with scotch tape, so you kind of have to dig your fingers to cut the tape and open the box. And the top of the box is a tuck end style lid. And the bottom is a sealed end base. So this makes it a little more secure. Uh, inside, we have a thicker corrugated cardboard to secure the figure inside. This once again is very basic, sealed with tape. Um, appears to be a single wall B flute style cardboard, which is you know pretty uh, efficient in containing the uh, figure inside. Uh, there is of course uh, plastic as well, protecting the individual pieces of the figure inside the box. Um, but, you know, honestly, box-wise, it's really not that impressive. It does what the box is intended to do, to protect the uh, product when shipping, but it's poor quality. The box is dinged up. You can tell there's creases all over the box. There's scratches everywhere, um, probably when transport. So we're going to give this box a 5 out of 10 for materials. Next is the box to product ratio. This is the relationship between the size of the box and the product inside. Everything, you know, was definitely tightly compacted inside the box itself. The figure was disassembled in order to reduce its overall footprint uh, for shipping. But there is, you know, really no wasted space or unnecessary space within the packaging. As it's just the figure, there aren't any kind of accessories other than, than the base that it stands on. So overall, we're going to give it a box to product ratio of 9 out of 10. Now, when it comes to organization, the unboxing experience is really as simple as it can be. The tuck and flap on the top opens quite easily as the cardboard is soft enough to get your fingers in there and pry the box open. Uh, pulling out the cardboard, there are openings where the figure is secured inside. And it's you know, definitely not the most pleasant type of packaging, but it does what it has to do to uh, transport the product. The pieces kind of appear to be, you know, just thrown inside here as well. So there's really no organization. Um, they wrapped it in plastic wrap and threw it inside the box, then put it inside the outer packaging. Um, so with no real formal layout. Unfortunately, there's nothing too special about it. So we're going to give this a 5 out of 10 for organization. Now finally, 
the last one, box factor. You know, this box definitely stands out if you're walking through a hobby shop and happen to come across an Ultra Instinct Goku figure. It's a great looking box. The designs are, you know, really prominent. They stand out. Um, but I would have liked to see a little more uh, setting base in the image just to kind of get a scale for, you know, its size and how it looks on display. The materials are very basic um, and the inner packaging was just simple corrugated cardboard that the uh, pieces were thrown into. And the box does appear to be, you know, highly recyclable, which is a positive thing in my books, um, but it really just doesn't stand out and it's not as exciting as the product itself. So we're going to give this just a 4 out of 10. So tallying up the scores with 7 for design, 5 for materials, 9 for BTPR, 5 for organization, and 4 for box factor, this box receives an unboxed impression score of 64%. Do you agree with this rating? Let me know in the comments below. And well, there you have it. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button and be sure to subscribe to my channel for daily unboxed impression videos where I explore the world of product packaging. With that, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.